Hello, I'm Poet. Who are you? David Vianich. Who are you? Hello, I am James, and I am one of the Copper Farm. And this is a show where you leave your comments below, and some of them are. Ah. Some of them are. Ah. There's an epic moment in this show on a Friday that only goes. Comments are the wee worst. <laughs> I still don't have a voice. Don't worry, we'll be back soon. Today we do have the Friday of the Bit Reality Poll. We also have Quick Fire Round, which is you know one of my favourites, and we have the worst comment of the week. Worst. Now we're moving on to Friday the Bit Reality Poll. So Bruce Tom says. For Friday debate, you should predict who will win the Premier League. I wonder if Paul will say Arsenal and if Janik will say Liverpool. Hashtag predictable. Well, call me predictable. <laughs> Who's going to win the league? Liverpool. League? Who's going to win the league, Poet? Chelsea. Oh. Are you being honest when you say Liverpool, though? No. Who I, do you think? Well, you I were very close to the season. Very I close also season. believe it's going to be Chelsea. Do you? Yeah, man. Why not Man City? I just feel they're mad strong. Man City have to eventually just stop winning the league. They've won it now two in three seasons. Yeah. Is it because uh, it's back to back titles? It's back to back. I don't know, okay? It's hard to predict stuff. Why? Because it is. You think it's easy to sit here and predict stuff? I think, well, I can tell you why I believe Chelsea will win the league. I'm going to say Liverpool. Why do you believe Liverpool because will win Because we beat league? Dortmund 4-0. And I'm a dumb Liverpool fan. Chelsea will win the league, I believe, purely because off the back last season, their biggest problem to me was not having a natural goal scorer. Someone up top that will score against you think anybody. think Costa's good? I think Costa is an amazing talent. And then they brought in a player who sits right behind him to provide all the goals for him. Lampard's left. Guess what? Let's bring in a younger, better Lampard who happens to be Cesc Fabregas playing just in behind Diego Costa. Either side, <clears throat> he's got Hazard on his left. He'll have probably Oscar on his right. Matic just behind him. Ramirez doing the box-to-box -box work. I just think they look like a team that really, really is ready for this Premier League. But then you've got Manchester City. Like I said, 102 goals scored, 43 conceded. That happens to be a problem. What do we do? We sign a defensive midfielder and an additional centre-back. We get in a new keeper who Pellegrini said is going to be challenging Joe Hart for that number one spot. He said he's got two number ones. If Liverpool sign... Go on. A world-class striker. They're still here as well, by the way. I think we're going to challenge. So if you've got Cavani, you believe you can win the league? Fuck oh, out, Cavani. Royce. If we got Royce, yes. I think Arsenal can only win the league if Wenger actually does sign a DM or a centre-back. Because our problem happens to be in the big games, we can see the too many goals. Yeah. Now, despite the fact we can see the 41 goals last season, which was too short of the Manchester City, I don't think our defence is a huge problem. It's games like Manchester City conceding six away, conceding another yeah, five at Liverpool, it. conceding another six at Stamford Bridge. So I just think we need to bring in big game players at the back in a game like that. If we go 1-0 down inside a minute, I says to the boys, wait, hang on, boys, boys, boys. Switch on. The next comments are uh, pretty much about predictions as well. N is it Names Dean, he says, Who, in your opinion, do you think will come first, second, third, fourth, and fifth next season? And Exit 10 100 has said, Predict all the big leagues. La Liga, League One, Bundesliga, BPL, Ooh. Serie A. He's so going to take it at another level. Oh, another completely. Notch. What we're going to do is, mate, we're just going to just say who we think is going to win all the leagues and all of that. Maradona's going to write it down. We're going to put it in the box. Chester Horrors. And in May, we'll see if he was right, who was wrong. Give us, instead of going all the way first to fifth, I think we should do top four. So give us your top four, mate. Premier League right. top four. Top four. What, from, in order? In order. I know I said Liverpool win the league. So this kind of contradicts itself. I'm going to say Chelsea. Chelsea? Man City. Man City. L uh, Arsenal. Arsenal. Liverpool. Wow. I'm going to take a massive risk. I'm going Chelsea. I'm going Arsenal. I'm going Manchester City third. And I'm going Liverpool. Man United will not be in top four. Uh, and the FA Cup, who do you reckon is winning the FA Cup? I want to say Liverpool. I'm going for Everton. Last week, I said the top goal scorer in the Premier League is going to be Sergio Aguero. Hmm. And you said Sterling. And you said most assists Sterling as well. La Liga is going to be won by... I'm just going to go with Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Easy, Bayern Munich. They're never going to lose. Ah, uh, Bayern Munich. It's too easy. It's like, it's like the Germans. German League's like Scottish football now. Serie A. Juventus can't win it four years in a row. I'm going to go with AS Roma. I was going to say that as well. For fuck's sake. But that's not predictions then. We're, we're going to say the same shit. League One. French League. I'm going to say PSG. Yeah, I'm going to say PSG. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to say Monaco. Cool. I'm not sticking with PSG. No! No, I'm saying PSG. No fucking way am I saying Monaco. Liverpool. Are you being serious? You're going for it? Yeah, Liverpool. I'm going to go for... Barcelona. Alright Maradona, may you please pass myself and Vujic's predictions 
for the Chester. Right. Thank you, Mariana. Thanks, mate. Well, looks pretty good. Uh oh, hold this one. Hold the phone. Hold my phone. I think Maradona has some predictions as well. Oh, I'm very hipster. I'm not really happy with some of the... He's a, Par he's a Palace fan. I haven't though. seen Liverpool pop up once, but um, yeah, I think you should have put that in the Chester followers. Mate, he doesn't rate Liverpool, I'll tell you that. Oh, that was a good Friday debate with Rihanna Chimpo, wasn't it? Yeah, mate, but now you've got to get your phone out. <laughs> All right, mate. You know the rules. On three. Three, two... One, Hull City 2, Essex 1, Hull's first ever European home game set up, please talk about it, well done Hull, oh. does Vooch have a son? No. no. Why am I never in the videos? What do I have to get in the videos? Someone help me, you're in the video. Yeah. Play the first and tell me yourself out of thoughts, too much money. Yeah, I don't on. have any friends, so I'm going to go play and watch the video, pretend that you guys are my friends, we yeah. are your friends. But it looks like a Quardardo. Juan Mata, David Silva, Juan Mata, what happened to Kukfaran? What the hell, it's back. Yeah. Boyan Pelé and Hamad, underrated, or what? They're going to do well. Oh. Am I the only one who des des despises Mourinho? No, I do oh, as well. Yeah. The meaning of life thoughts. Um, a lot good. of life thoughts. The Luis Magar said that he brings you things to my life when you ask if he can have one. Thoughts on beat Bayern Munich. Thoughts, it doesn't really matter. If Apple made a car, would it have windows? Woo! Show so Lukaku and keep torrent. What? League of should get good at the Good Absolutely ridiculous. How do we retire from refereeing? Man City have built a statue all over him. Don't swing your arms too much, they might break. Hey, that's not nice. I had a comment, I'm a PSG boy for 90 mil. Hope this has been my man and have a heart attack. Saw it out, poet. The very end of Bayern, back up for New York thoughts. Very good. Good shout, Sterling is amazing. Mr. Sterling is amazing! Don't want a little bug, beat Thomas and Marco Rich. The greed is never going to happen. You. But you know, I had a brief amount of time to beat Robert Hitler's own thoughts. Doesn't matter. Oh, mate, what do you reckon about Brentford? I like him. 23, not bad, but uh, let's move on, and now we are on to the part of the show which is memories. We're on to the part of the show called memories, where we share and we reflect on some great times here Two at Two years, Below. and we're very loyal. Alexander Hoy said, hashtag memories, the epic song they sing whenever they talk about Turkish football, which happens to be on the count of three, one, two, three. I am, I am a shukadum, shukadum, madness. I am a shukadum, shukadum, real, real, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what I said there. Ah, uh, this was funny. Sasty man one. I remember the episode when Poet had diarrhea and he left his mic on when he took a shit. Now, can I just say, I took 22 shits in one day. That was bad. That was in 24 bad. hours. Poet has left his mic on. He's gone for a poo. I don't know if he's going to see this until the edit, but this is hilarious. But one of my favourites anyway, and I think you should bring it back because your hair's looking too conventional. Uh, Ibrahim Hashir said, hashtag do the Look, Yannis. it's getting shorter. It's gonna get there. I want to bring it back for the people because I really miss when you guys used to get your hair cut like me, man, and send it in and... Oh, that was awesome, man. That's crazy. You made me feel really loved. Thank you for the memories. Now it is time for something that has... This is mad. So in Brazil, we put our fists to the screen and we ask you to send, send your squad. You men have gone crazy. Uh, well, Jack Lapping one is giving a potato to his dog. <laughs> and I don't, it, this dog just doesn't look impressed. The next one look, is epic. Look the what's best happened. player in the world clearly knows about us. He has written football and he's spudded us. <laughs> then we have actual Toy Story spuds. I don't, well you, I don't know how they're sending themselves, but I'm sure they're enjoying the show. Thank you for sending your spuds. David, Yeah. please turn to your right. Yeah. I turn to my left, and you ask that wonderful question. Where are you from? All right, this week, these people are from Buenos Aires in Argentina, and I'll tell you what, their fans in Brazil were incredible. <laughs> It's time for any old goal. David, please go through them the way in which you do. We have cool Aiden. He said, you know, school's kind of boring. So you know what he did? What? He volleyed some toilet paper into the toilet. Oh, Aiden, no. get to class. As any old goal, we loved it. It was great. Next one is crammy ballers. So basically, you split the ball up. Yeah. You send a bicycle volley yeah. into a rubbish bin, which is 10 meters away. That's quite epic. We turn to our right, and yeah. you can sing for me. What the fame! Maradona, please pass me the picture. Oh, Maradona was ready. What the fame, said by Cesar Bordel, Steve Naismith for buying season tickets for the unemployed in Liverpool for Everton fans. I think that's actually a great gesture. And Stephen Naismith, I don't care what club you support, you have to say he's an absolute legend and hero, enabling fans that financially wouldn't be able to watch their team to watch them throughout the whole season. We are now onto the part of the show where you address the millions. 
How many of Copper 90 fans all across the world, not on Tumblr, Copper 90.com, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Twitter. It's the April moment in the show that can only be described as on a Friday in Indonesian. Commentate Bruk of Mingo! That does not sound like comment of the week. Mingo! Commentate Bruk of! We are at the worst comment of the week. Here and we've we got go. quite a few. Let's flick through these. Sokomaniac 45. 15 years ago, I was at my friend's house eating breakfast and I saw my friend pour the milk before the cereal. <laughs> I never talked to him after that. I found out he was convicted of mass murder a few years. <laughs> a few years back. Moral of the story, trust your instincts. That is fantastic. Angel de Maria, thank, thank you for watching. A cowboy ro rode into town on Friday. He had, he left three days later on Friday. How did he do it? So the horse's name was Friday. And what? The horse's name was Friday, but I've heard oh. that wrong. <laughs> My dad used to say it when I was younger. Oh wait, well, I didn't funny. even read that. Next one, explosive use. Goats are like mushrooms. If you shoot a duck, I'm scared of toasters. <laughs> FIFA lover S. Jeremy is riding a bike and Katie also likes pancakes. <laughs> that one I quite like. They were really good this week, alright? Like this week, they were really, really good. But I'm going to have to give it to the Soccer Maniac 45. That's amazing. Because just, you try, because I'm not going to lie, whenever someone told me about pouring milk into the bowl before their cereal and made an actual adamant argument that this is the right way to do it. I just can't be their friend. Next week, make sure you're sending in your suggestions for what me and Dooge should be debating about. We did speak about uh, who's going to win the league today. What's it going to be next week? Uh, by this time next week, we would have played a bit of football. A bit we of would, Premier League. A bit of Premier League football. Leave comments about a defer. Two very ill poet and Davids. Yeah. Well, I'm going to find my voice, mate. It's lost. This is a long thing. I'm going to go blow my nose. We love you guys. Goodbye.